All right, this is a brief overview of using Service Fusion on your handheld device. Of course, we use this for scheduling work. Every, it's kind of a calendar, your own personal calendar that shows you know what you're doing today, what you did previously, and what your future jobs are. So typically what we're most concerned with is my work. So we'll tap on my work and it's giving me a list of jobs. I get to see everybody's jobs that, um, it'll give me a list of jobs of everything for that day. Um, and I'll go into one here that's been partially assigned to me called Forklift Systems. I'll go into this and we'll start from the top and work our way down. Um, this says it needs to be scheduled. So hypothetically, it'll show that it's confirmed. What you can do is when you are going to a job is you change the status of it. Hey, if you're on the way, put on the way. If you're running a few minutes late, the office doesn't need to call you and say, hey, where are you? We can go back and look and see that you're on your way. Um, you can also go to um, use another little tab called on site. That tells us that you're on site and you're busy working on the job or the job has started. Um, of course, when you're completely finished with the job, um, when everything is all done, just tap on complete. It'll show that the job is completed. That means you've completed the work that you were sent out there to do. You've uploaded data or any information that goes along with it. And, and it's a completed job. So, um, and what we'll do is we'll go back to, um, this needs to be scheduled. So we'll leave that up in there. Service Fusion will also give you some extra information as well. Like it'll give you information on the job. Um, as you can see from top to bottom, the name of the customer, um, here's your point of contact. His information is on there, the service location. You can even tap on this and it'll open up a map of where the location is, which is kind of neat. They have an interface with Google Maps, so it's, it's kind of handy if you're in a rush. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about any of the fields down here, but there are a lot of times there's other information in here that may be handy. Um, just this says all devices and wiring must be secured with zip ties. Um, notes are in here about the job. You see who the actual parent customer is, which is Verizon Connect. And that's pretty much it for this part on customer details. But most important, name of your point of contact, their cell phone number, his email address, and the office number. So we can also go back. And if we want to see where they're at, you can look at a map really quick. And again, it opens that up. You can tap on get, get driving directions. And it will take you over to the uh, to the job site just by using that feature. We're not too concerned about sign for, for any of this because we don't require customer signatures. The photo feature, don't use a photo feature if you need to take a picture of a broken windshield or a panel or something like that. It takes too long for these heavy megapixel photos to upload into the system. So I'll show you a different way of doing that here in a minute. And again, we go down, there's your location, there's what you're doing, three service repairs. Um, inside of custom fields, um, typically we'll have a purchase order inside of here and you'll need that for your job sheet later on. Um, it also has the customer service reps email address in here. And in this particular job, there's a case number and we don't have a PO, so we're gonna use a case number because it's a repair for Verizon Connect. Um, as we scroll down, you can see uh, you know, additional visits, you know, how many times did you have to go back? I wouldn't worry about that. Completion notes is very important. What we need everybody to do is do your completion notes. That means if you went out there, if the job says install 10 GPS devices, you go out there and you installed, say, five of them, just simply put down installed five of 10 devices. Check requires follow-up, then hit save. And then this way, everybody knows that, hey, we only got five done. You need to go back out and do the other five, and we can reschedule or help reschedule a technician to go back out there. This saves time and by eliminating unnecessary phone calls and messaging back and forth. So real important to do your completion notes when you're completely done with the job. Just tell us what you did while you were out there, and that's it. If there's anything else that somebody needs to know, hey, uh, vehicle had broken windshield, uh, dash panels cracked, put that in your completion notes to just to cover yourself. Um, moving along on the bottom, you'll see there's notes in here and there's notes in here about the job where you can see where uh, we spoke with somebody and they said, do these uh, vehicles 105, 118 and 202. There could be information about equipment, devices, um, second locations. 
Always read the notes before you leave for the job. Sometimes the customer's address will be different than the service address. Sometimes you may have a POC's contact info, but it may have something else in here, like talk to Jeff on Saturday with a different phone number. It's going to be in the notes. Always read the notes before departing on a job uh, with Service Fusion. Documents. It's kind of a cool feature in documents. This is where you can upload. Um, you take a picture from your, that you've already taken from your camera. You can go in your photo library for that. You can actually take a photo or video. Say, say the say you broke the windshield or something. You take a picture of the glass using this feature. Use this feature because it takes less time for this to upload than using the photo feature. The photo feature takes forever. You'll be there for 10 minutes waiting for a photo to upload. This only, this only uh, takes a matter of seconds. Also, if you're doing a job sheet or you have anything else, you can upload you can upload your different job sheets um, you know, from somewhere in your device. Um, you can just tap on it and it'll automatically upload it and it'll save it as a document. Equipment, don't worry about an invoice. You won't have that in there. So back into this again, just a quick recap. So on your way to the job, just put your status on the way on site left. Is it mandatory? Not really, but if you're running behind for some reason, at least put, update your status so we're not calling you looking for you. We, you know, everybody knows you're on the way or everybody knows you just got there. Sometimes we'll get a phone call 30 minutes after you've gotten there saying, hey, your tech's not here. Well, we can look in Service Fusion and say, well, he's there. He just checked in at 801. Um, and again, everything is self-explanatory in here. So all you need to know is, what are you doing? Here's your info again. This is your point of contact you need to talk to. There's a service location. And additional notes about the account may be in there. Um, map feature, which we talked about already. That's pretty much it. Um, another cool feature about Service Fusion is you can actually go back and you can search, search for jobs you can look at your calendar um, either by the day, three days, or for the whole month. Um, sometimes there's actually the um, you can use the map feature also, which may show your uh, may, may show your jobs for the day. So you can use the map feature, and if there's different jobs going on, you can open this up and you can see well what do we have going on here, and you can tap on that and it's going to tell you what's going on where or this one here. Say you have an open day, we're open scheduling. You can actually route yourself using the map feature, and it's kind of neat to do that. Um, so that's pretty much it for Service Fusion. Again, it's more of a dispatch system than anything. Um, and again, you can look at different things in it. Feel free to play with it. and You can't hurt anything, and that's pretty much it. So enjoy.